Hello newbies! In today's Tutinous Nubinous, I'm going to show you how to do this without doing this. Dot 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 Oh man! If you've ever had to create a program or a table of contents, it's more than likely you've had to use tab leaders. Now, tab leaders guide the reader from column to column, and when created properly, left and right margins down the page remain straight despite the number of edits you make. Now, that's working smarter and not harder. Let me show you what I mean. Now, for simplistic purposes, we're going to call the wrong way my wife's method and we're going to call the correct way the right method the first thing we notice using my wife's method is that if we're trying to create the tab leaders we have to continually play with the periods and backspaces just to make things fit properly okay i think that works and then we have another little space here so let's see if we can fix that there we go. And so you're continually playing with the space key, period keys, and the backspace keys just to make your edges line up properly. Using the correct method, your edges will always line up regardless of the amount of edits you create. For instance, we find out that the dismissal person's name is not Reverend Pete Chores, but Reverend Jameson Chores. In. and guess what it's gone to the next line and now we have to play with this to kind of get everything back backspace 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 period period that looks about right now let's look at the correct method we found out that the interpretive dance is not going to be done by tricks they canceled it's going to be done by twinkle toes so we go twinkle toes. Look at that. Now that we understand the importance of using tab leaders, let us find out how to create them. Now creating tab leaders are incredibly easy. Once you set up the tab stop position, you simply select the tab leader you wish to use to guide your reader. So let's set up our tab stop position. Now I'm using Word 2016, but the premise is basically the same for earlier versions with the ribbon toolbar. Just below the ribbon toolbar and the rulers pane, we're gonna click on the tab stop setup button. Now we're gonna continually click on the tab stop setup button until we select the desired tab stop button we want to use. And then for this example, um, we want to use the right tab stop. That's the one that looks like a backwards L. And then in the rulers pane, we're just simply going to click right beneath the ruler to add our tab stop. And we'll see that represented by the tab stop icon within the ruler. Now to add a leader to your tab stop. In the ribbon toolbar, ensure the home tab is highlighted and in the paragraph column, click on the dialog drop down button. Next, click on the tabs button at the bottom of the pop up window. And in the tab stop position section, select your tab stop to add a leader to. Finally, in the leader section, select the leader tab you wish to use dots, dashes, or lines. Click OK, and you're set. This has been an episode of Tutinous Nubinous Tutorial for Newbies. Please be sure to subscribe, like, and leave comments and suggestions below.